Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's your host, Timmy. I bring you a video release where we indulge in the new Sapphire RuneScape and best in slot range gear. Not only that, but I'll also be putting my full Druidic on the line later on in this video. Before we jump into that though, I've got a magical stick in my inventory I'd like to pass on to you viewers. Simply leave me a like on this vid, make sure you're subscribed, and leave a comment with your favorite RuneScape update of all time. Don't forget to tag your RSN as well. And without further ado, let's jump into the production. But first, a word from our gracious sponsor. What are you doing in my video? Get back to where you came from. Hey, what about my world? You must be from some childish game. Surely, right? That is not true. Hero Wars has vibrant graphics, cool gameplay, and a user-friendly interface. Mm, very interesting. Let's give it a try, shall we, audience? Yeah, tell them more about it. In Hero Wars, everyone can find a character to suit themselves. There's aliens, vampires, and even furries won't be disappointed. Once you've played for a bit, you can't go wrong with unlocking Chaba. He's a gnarly tank who literally devours his enemies. Ouchie. But Celestia is the real S tier. She can switch between a DPS dark form and healer life form, which makes her useful in any situation. Looking good too with this new skin freshly dropped for her. There's no equal to Hero Wars. You'll find yourself playing it anywhere and everywhere. It's very easy to start playing, but assembling a perfect team of heroes is an art in itself. For example, Mojo the Shaman can't heal Darkstar the Elf as efficiently as good Grandma Martha can, while the Slow Cleaver makes a great pair with the Swift Isaac. Hero Wars is a world of six unique modes, more than 300 Guild Wars servers, and 100 million players. You can play alone or see who among you and your friends is the top dog. Here's a question for you, where can you get 30k coins, 600 emeralds, and 5 awesome heroes to start dominating in Hero Wars right away? Well, the answer's right in the description down below. Try out Hero Wars today, thank you for sponsoring this video. Oh my god, it sold quickly. That scared the shite out of me, mate. Oh, The shadow has been purchased, and I even got a 6 GP refund. Holy smokes! The staff is almost going off the screen. This is unreal. The strength within the magician territory versus monsters. The power of the sun itself. Let's see, we'll turn on the augury, use the imbued heart, and a 62. What did this staff just develop? I sense evil from down under the sands of the desert. We are releasing a demon, the power of the Tumakin Shadow. That is a demon! That is a demon! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god, what do I do with this thing? I gotta bury it out in the yard! Where's my shovel? Where? Go to the tool shed quickly! I gotta bury this thing and never must be seen ever again! <laughs> bury it! Bury it! <sighs> and show the Timmy. Doug. And Doug. And Doug. Until the moon, the sun no longer shine. It was then dark. He dug all day for the depths, the length of his spade, and the width of a diameter of pi 3.14567 to fit the Tumakin shadow within the earth soil of the Timmy POH, never to be seen again. Poof. <laughs> Got it for 1083 actually. This is the first time I've gotten the mummy gear, guys. I gotta try this on. Let's go! I'm a mummy now. The demon eyes. I wanna compare the bonuses. So this set already has the armadillo infused in it, just for ease of comparison. Plus eight better on range defense bonus, plus 12 better on magic defense bonus, plus 10 better on crush, plus 10 better on slash, plus eight eight better on defensive stab same prayer bonus the big bonus that i'm seeing is that plus eight range strength armadillo has plus zero and then looking at the actual attack 
82 versus 63 on Armadale. But that 8% range damage, I can imagine, is massive. Like, that's max damages all day over the Armadale. But if you're looking for the highest hits, I know Void is very good for that department. I don't know if, if we might have to test to see, like, does Void still max higher than this? You're getting the accuracy though, which is what made the Arma loadout good versus Void. Void's got the higher hit. I think we need to put it to the test, huh boys? What do we think about the, uh, the mummy gear? You know what? I wasn't sure what I thought, but it does look pretty cool compared to Arma. Arma will always be the OG. I definitely feel a little bit like a bird. The, um, the Armadale is infused in the upgraded set. Too bad we don't see a little bit of that beak in the, um, the coif. It's kind of like it got bit off. Like, how do you go from that big of a beak down to this? It's like it got sawed off, maybe, in production. Besides that, I, I kind of miss the beak. I kind of want to, like, lay down in the grass and try and see if I could pick up some bird feed, like... From time to time, I do pretend I'm a bird. It does look overall pretty cool, though. Tin, what the fuck? You kicking it, brother? <laughs> How did you get my bench in here? Nice cut. I like that cut, though. What the hell? Thank you for moving aside. It's time for me to um test this out. Should we use the big boy weapon first? I say we start with some smaller tier items and we build up to the biggest boys. First, it's going to have to be the oak longbow requested by the brothers. Feel free to guess what you think the max is going to be. We'll make sure we have... Let's go get some prey. So this is the max hit dummy. It's going to give us a, the highest hit. What do we think with the oak? Oak longbow and steel arrows. 14, 23, 17. Timmy's gonna guess. I'm gonna guess a 19. 22! Who guessed a 22? I did see some 22s. Scotty got that one. We'll try the knife next. We'll throw a spec. 27, 27. So the default hit should be... 27. We'll throw on the obsidian rings. They are pretty cool specimens. 30. Whoa. That man just flew across the screen. The blowpipe. We loaded this up with D darts. 46. 31. So 46 max spec. Um, Let's try the bow of Ferdinand. 42. Ballista spec. Holy. A 70. I, I think the Void might actually still have a higher um max. Let me see. 56. 60, it does. It does. It has a higher max. As, as anticipated, I thought the Void would still hold that. So I don't think it's doing the enchant. It's just doing the default hit. 48. Yeah, it's not giving us the enchant, unfortunately. Listen, you boys. You said it was going to give us the enchant. You're wrong again. That's a D minus on this test today at school. D minus! Staying after class. You thought you were going to be heading home on the early bus to play some RuneScape? Not today. Is your back okay holding it like that? He's about to crack like the exorcist. Don't worry. Put that Terox axe away, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I think we're going to try the T-Bow next. Let's boost up. Incoming big hit. 77. And without without testing this, I'm going to guess a 79 with the void. 81! You don't have the accuracy like you're going to have in this loadout, though. 77 is still big. Actually, let's compare the accuracy on hand here. The Void does have that set effect. Plus 213 range attack bonus in this. That's that's a lot. Yeah, Zach, let's try the max hit Missouri versus the, the Arma. 75 to a... 85. Well, this feels pretty nice. I'm like a mummy. I'm like the new armor in RuneScape. Uh, I am the pharaoh of RuneScape. Uh, yeah, this feels quite nice. I might leave this on the entire stream. As you may have guessed, it was only a matter of time before the Druidic set was sent within this video release. I've risked the prestigious robes multiple times and have never came out on top. But perhaps today shall be different if we believe! This is the same set I bought for roughly 5 billion about a year ago. Druidic DM has engaged. Uh 
I've lost three out of three out of three Druidic DMs. This is no ETM. It's in Malta, yep. I took us a single. Please. 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 Yes! Fuck yes! Yes! Yes, boys! My first Druidic DM win! Holy fuck! I won! That's the first DM I've ever won at Druidic! I've lost three out of three! That is big! You guys witness it live! Good fight, EX! Holy shit! I just won the Druidic DM, bro! Oh my god! I've never won! I won! I won! I'm sure you guys have noticed a lot of your items in RuneScape have crashed for the most part with exceptions of some that are beneficial in the new tombs. I'd say Druidic definitely did dip pretty hard, although we can't complain about getting an almost 3 bill W under the belt for these beautiful robes. Nice win. I did also send a third age Druidic stick. Yes, we like to call it the stick. This is the result. I paid $25 to some kid on eBay for a handcrafted Harry Potter wand. He sent me a stick. <laughs> he went into his backyard. He picked up a stick. It's numbered. <laughs> Ooh, limited edition. Nice. That's about all, folks. Here's how the bank's looking after acquiring a lot of the new gear. There's been a ton happening behind the scenes on my stream over at twitch.tv forward slash sparkmac. And we'd love to see you guys live. If not, I've got another video release coming soon with huge moves. So keep an eye out for that one. But till the next one, thanks for watching. And remember, boys, fly high no matter what it takes. Ka-ka!